Natural calamities are a display of an awesome power, immensely and fearfully greater than the human. They jolt us of our complacent routines and impel us to think. Why do such natural disasters occur? How should we respond to them? Can we do anything to prevent their reoccurrence? And does God exist? If he does, why does he not stop such calamities? According to the great spiritual traditions of the world, we are answerable to God for all our actions. The Vedic texts of India give the most cogent and coherent understanding of this system of cosmic accountability known as the law of karma. This universal infallible law of action-reaction gives all of us our due pleasures and pains according to our actions, whether right or wrong. The Vedic texts therefore contains prescriptions and proscriptions to guide us in our actions. Anyone who violates these injunctions only has himself to blame for the consequences. To some extent, we ourselves can see how the law of karma is working. Lung and other respiratory disorders penalize smokers. Liver diseases afflict alcoholics. AIDS and other STDs punish illicit sex mongers. We may not be able to trace the causes of all the suffering of each person, but humility will allow us to admit the limitations of our vision. We do not and cannot know about the karmic deeds and misdeeds of others or even ourselves in the past lives. Even in this life, we cannot fully know everything that everyone or anyone has done. The Vedic texts give us a thorough philosophical understanding of the inherent goodness of God as our Supreme Father and the infallible benevolent nature of His jury's prudence. Therefore, they assure us that anyone suffering in any way is reaping what he has himself sown earlier. Two activities declared to be monstrously criminal in the cosmic penal system but which are rampant into society are animal slaughter and abortion. From God's viewpoint, these two activities are brutal. His more powerful children, humans, are ruthlessly and systematically slaughtering his weaker and helpless children, animals and infants. And the main reason for this ghastly massacre is often the selfish, hedonistic desire for the enjoyment of the tongue and the genitals. Specially despicable is the slaughter of cows. We have invented shrewd justifications to rationalize our misdeeds. A murderer may justify his murder but the law of the state will still punish him. Similarly, we may justify or even legalize abortion and animal slaughter, but the law of karma will still punish us. Statistics show the horrendous massacres that we cause every day through abortions and animal slaughter is far more than the toll of human life that natural disasters take. So, in a karmic sense, we deserve far more. We have got less than what we deserve. These natural disasters are not nature's cruelty. It is karmic justice. Do we have to accept 
to the law of karma on faith? Or is there any empirical way to understand its existence? The Vedic scriptures explain that karmic punishment comes upon humanity in the form of three types of miseries. If the law of karma were true, then these miseries should have increased over the last century in which the karmic misdeeds have multiplied manifold. We have eradicated some diseases, but many more incurable and excruciatingly painful diseases have come up. And the mind is ravaging the human race like never before in recorded human history. Psychological and psychosomatic disorders leading to stress, depression, insanity, addictions and suicides are causing havoc in the lives of many so-called successful people. Crime, violence, murder and terrorism are tormenting us more than ever before. Human relationships have hit an all-time low. We are unable to trust our own spouses, parents or children. Divorces are destroying the family the basic building block of a stable society. Over the last century, natural calamities and ecological disasters have been increasing in both their frequency and ferocity. According to the International Society for Disaster Reduction, ISDR, the natural disaster have increased multifold in each passing decade. Therefore, for the intelligent, the reality of karma is not difficult to see. We can never break the law. We can only break ourselves against the law. So if we actually want to minimize the casualties due to natural calamities, better detection techniques alone will not suffice. If we want to be saved, from suffering, we have to scrupulously avoid bad karma by giving up illicit sex and meat eating, which are the root causes of abortions and animal slaughter. Further, we can protect ourselves from our past misdeeds by harmonizing ourselves with God. And if we wish to truly help our fellow citizens on this planet, humanitarian aid will not be enough. We have to offer spiritual aid by giving the enlightenment and empowerment that comes from God consciousness. This alone will equip them to protect themselves from both bad karma and its reaction.